spacious skies for amber waves of green for purple mountains majesty above the fruit to plant What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz, Jazz, the piano tutorial man, back again with another one, two, three, classic, yes, indeedy, you already know who to feed, the needy, so yeah, man, like I said, now, I always say I got a classic for you, but, um, Anybody watching this video was even alive when this song was even written? <laughs> yeah, that's how much of a classic this song is. So this is the Ray Charles arrangement. And I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. His name is right up there in the top left hand corner. Uh, Rashad Walker. Hopefully that's how you pronounce your name. If not, I apologize. But thank you so much for sponsoring this tutorial. And um. It's really not that hard. He, he just throws a lot of diminished chords up in there and stuff like that, you know, to make it real churchified, you know what I'm saying? Dominant seven, dominant nine, and some diminished chords. You know, he just churchified it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Say that with me. Churchified. Come on, it's not hard to say it. Come on, say it. Churchified. Okay. So um, the song actually starts with a snare drum. Um, It's like it's just snare drums, right? And then there's a horn section. Then the piano comes in. So all I did for an introduction, I just said, well, we're not I can't sit up here and do snare drums if you're sitting at a grand piano, right? Playing the song. So uh, just as basic introduction could just be. OK, so we just do, do, do your usual church introduction. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an A flat over B flat chord, B flat on the left hand, E flat, A flat, C on the right hand. So you got. Keep that B flat on the left hand, and then you got D, G, and B flat. That's the second inversion G minor chord on your right hand. Okay, and by the way, that first that first A flat that I played, that's the second inversion A flat, second inversion G minor, and then and then that's the second inversion F minor over B flat. Okay, so that's C, F, and A flat. So that's just all that is okay and then you can come in for beautiful all right so that's an e flat major chord e flat on the left b flat e flat g on the right hand your next chord will be e diminished seven e on the left g b flat d flat e on the right hand your next chord b flat seven over f so you got your F on the left, A flat, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Take your left hand, move it over to B flat. Keep your right hand right where it is. And now you just have a straight up B flat seven chord. And then your next chord will be the E diminished seven chord again. Okay, you're going to play it again. E on the left, G, B flat, D flat, E on the right hand. Then you're going to play... F minor 7, F on the left, F, 
A flat C, E flat on the right hand, B flat 9 chord, which is a B flat on the left, A flat C, D, F on the right hand, then you're going to hit E flat major, E flat on the left, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. Then you have an E diminished 7, E on the left, G, B flat, D flat, E on the right hand. Then you have a B flat 7 over F again, F on the left, A flat, B flat, D, F on the right hand. And then once again, you'll take your left hand and bring it up to B flat again, making it just a straight up B flat 7. Okay, let's stop right there just to see what we have so far. So, so far we have for beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of green. Okay, that's what we have so far. Then we want to play a lot of the same chords again, a lot of the same chords again. So for Purple Mountains, we have E flat major, E flat on the left, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. Then you're going to have an E diminished 7, E on the left, G, B flat, D flat, E on the right hand. Then you're going to have B flat 7 over F, uh, that's F on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D. F on the right hand and then once again take that left hand move it over to B flat just like we did like three times already in the song already and that gives you a straight up B flat 7 chord um, then you're going to now this is where it switches you're going to jump come down to A major okay A on the left A D flat E on the right hand come up to B flat major B flat on the left, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Then you're going to do an F9 chord. That's F. And you can just do double F on the left hand, or you can do F and E flat. That's just something I just tend to do when I play F9. I don't know, or F7. So F and E flat on the left hand, or just double F. Either one will give it to you. Your right hand is A, C, E flat G on the right hand then you're going to hit B flat major B flat on the left B flat D F on the right hand A flat over C C on the left A flat C E flat on the right hand then you got your B flat 7 over D again D on the left hand a flat, B flat, D, and F, and you already know what the next chord is, right? Take your left hand and just take it to B flat. <laughs> and there you have a regular B flat 7 chord. Okay, so that's the complete verse. So um, the next section will be the chorus, but before, obviously before I go there, let me play the verse. So you got four beautiful, I mean, oh beautiful, sorry. <laughs> four spacious skies. For amber waves of green, for purple mountains, majesty. we want to go to the chorus america right okay so e flat major e flat on the left b flat e flat g on the right hand america now you want to go to g minus seven g on the left g b flat d f on the right hand 
G flat diminished seven is almost chromatic, but not exactly chromatic to the left. Uh, you got G flat on the left hand, G flat, A, C, E flat on the right hand, then come almost chromatically down again to F minor, not exactly chromatic, but almost. F on the left hand, F, A flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Then you're going to come B flat seven. I'm playing it differently be, um, from how I showed it to you before because I was already here. So for me, it just made sense to just play it this way. Okay, so let me spell it out. All the other times I, I played it a different way. But this time I'm doing B flat on the left hand. F, A flat. You can play that B flat if you like. And then the D on the right hand, okay? Then you're going to go to A flat over C. C on the left hand. A flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Then you're going to do uh, D flat diminished 7. D flat on the left hand. G, B, D flat, E on the right hand. B flat over D. D on the left. B flat, D, F on the right. Take that left hand, drop it down to B flat. You can make these B flat 7 chords again if you want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, B flat on the left hand B flat D F on the right hand A flat over C C on the left A flat C E flat on the right hand Then B flat 7 Over D Double D on the left A flat B flat D F on the right hand then you're going to have E flat major, E flat on the left, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. And on the screen, you see it, it says G augmented seven on the chord sheet. I just wrote it as G seven sharp five. Okay. Now I'm going to stop right there because that was a whole lot of chords. So let me stop right there and show you how to play those chords together so when you get to the chorus america america god shed his grace on the pretend you didn't hear me play that bad note just pretend you didn't hear me play it and i'm just going to play it again because i just feel like it not because i just hit that bad chord i'm just doing this because i feel like it okay so here we go America Don't laugh at me, y'all America God shed His grace On thee Alright That's where we stopped so far We stopped on that G7 sharp 5 Then when you come out of it And cry uh, you want to hit that A flat, that dominant nine sound, because remember we're taking it where to church. We churchifying the song, right? A flat, A flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Crown thy with brother. That's an E flat major chord. E flat on the left, G, B flat. E flat on the right hand from and then all these are just octaves you just do C octave C. E flat octave B flat octave that just means all we're doing is just hitting the single notes then you're going to go to a B flat dominant 7 over D D on the left hand A flat B flat D F on the right hand and when he's on when he's only sung the first verse and he's getting ready to go to the second verse you're going to play this progression you play your E flat major chord again which is E flat on the left G B flat E on the right hand 
E diminished seven. E on your left hand. Uh, let me see. G, B flat, D flat, E on your right hand. B flat seven over F. F on the left. A flat, B flat, D, F on the right hand. And then you want to have a B flat nine. These are chords that you already played in this, you know, order before. B flat on the left, A flat, C, D, and F on the right hand. Okay, so that's how you play the chorus when you're going back into the second verse. So one more time. the next verse dun, dun. all the chords are the same no need to go through it you play the verse the same way you played it the last time and then he goes to the chorus again america america god shed his grace on thee all oh, that's the same all oh, that's the same now when he ends the song he does something slightly different so he he begins ending it and this is after the second verse um, okay, when he does the chorus after the second verse, he does the chorus the first time exactly the same way he did it the first verse. So don't change nothing. You just play the chorus exactly the same. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Then crown thy good all oh, this is the same i already showed you all this brother then do your octaves from c to shine name c then you do that again then he goes back to america 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 god share Now, this is where it's going to be slightly different. So then this is when he's ending the song. This is the end of the song. And crown thy good. You still do the A flat nine chord. With brotherhood. You still do E flat. You still play the octaves. C to shine. And then this is how he ends the song. He hits the E flat major chord. E flat on the left. G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. Then he does a E flat 7 over G. Okay, so that's G on the left hand. G, B flat, D flat, E flat on the right hand. Then he hits the A flat dominant 9 chord. A flat on the left. G flat, B flat, C, E flat. And then his background singers are singing Shining C again. And then when they get to C, shining, you just end the song on a straight up E flat chord. And this is how they end the song. E flat on the left, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. So that last time, crown like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get through the Ray Charles arrangement of America the Beautiful. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will definitely catch you on the next one. Peace.